Hello everyone, it's another What's Next video here in North County, San Diego, California. And the weather has flipped on us and flipped on us big time. It's like almost 98 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. And this is just uh, horrible for the plants that aren't used to this going from nice, humid, cool, tropical Mediterranean to desert canyon overnight. So bananas are not liking it too much. They're gonna get a lot of water. They got bananas on them too. I've got some uh, new mamas having babies there, but the one I'm gonna be taking down here soon is right there. That is an ice cream banana. And those behind it is a big stand of Cavendosh, miniature Cavendosh bananas. This is my artichoke, which is really a cardoon. This is something that has come from seed from Heidi's farm, our Heidi's residence, and that go way back in videos. We harvested this and we put it in here and fought with gophers and, and stuff like that out here. And this is okra that we planted and had lots of issues with fire ants and today i've got some okra with some aphids on them but no fire ants so i'll come out here oh those are too big to eat now i haven't been out here for a couple days doing too busy root burrowing things i'm letting my okra know these are good but now i've got aphids so that if we had this kind of weather all the time those aphids wouldn't be here they they, they don't like this direct sun like this and I can't do much about that right now. It's just an organic farm. These are amazing peppers. And uh, this is a real nice one right here. So I will clip this off right here. And this is a manganji pepper. And I've got several on here that I can pick for doing a quick saute with these things. I have a video on that too. Um, so yeah, the garden needs some, some water. And this grows wild. This is Greek oregano. All I gotta do is touch it and I smell like I'm in an Italian restaurant. My electronic rat traps are doing really well. I'm not gonna make a video about that, but I will tell you that those things are like little squirrels, except for they are very smart they tear up things they chew wires thousands of dollars worth of damage are there uh, they'll eat the bottom of a trailer and go up through that way and then you have these norway rats around so i have a very very effective rat trap now they're electronic rat zappers and it's like instantaneously that animal doesn't feel a thing and it's easy to dispose of them so Let's see, this is a, a baby Tamarillo tree. It is under the shade here, so it'll do fine. And this has got to find a home. This is a passion fruit right here. Uh, we'll take a look at Cousin It today. I call this Cousin It. It was a uh, plant sculpture I started some time ago. It's on a wire rack. It's actually on a wire um, tree tomato cage or just a tomato cage and then there's a post in the middle that holds it straight now that thing may be rotten out pretty soon so i may have to replace the middle support pole but when the wind uh this gets full of these yellow flowers here and when the wind comes up here in the afternoon she kind of dances so that she wiggles like that and it, it's comical because if you got some music going on this things like got a, a, tr a little bush dancing out in the background that's kind of fun I'm pruning all of these back these are golden berries and they come up from pots down here and all of this needs watering um, and the compost bin look back at all the worms that I grow on this one this thing's probably starting to get better again it was kind of sick because of the weather we had it wasn't getting hot enough for this thing to warm out enough for this thing to really work real well hard to keep it oxygenated and when that's not warm it does need a little bit warmer climate than what we had or we need something else to help that composting along so that is that much of it 
and that will be the end of the video today oh maybe let's go over here and see if i don't break my neck walking in these sandals over all of this stuff here it's waiting for me i've had enough for three days you can rest your rock right there until i get back to you and you girls and boys you behave while i'm gone that's funny those electronic gopher repellent sticks are still working after all this time i can't take it i have been waiting all year to eat some of these manganji peppers and i didn't notice until i was videoing this that i had a whole dinner's worth for tonight and that's what i'm going to do next so there we go not only is it what they call santa Ana winds coming in this afternoon the air is popcorn dry there is popping going on because they're target practicing over there somewhere. And those are the peppers I picked. And that's what I'm going to make right now. So what you do next is put them in a pan and fire up. I've learned how to put bandages on one-handed. Something happened after 65 where my skin decided to bump and bleed. Char every one of these up until they're completely charred all the way around. You can hear the skin popping. Mm-hmm. <laughs>